Hey everybody, it's Leah Gordon. How are you? I hope some of y'all can hop on. I want to show you why we use sprays, why we use makeup sprays. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray my left arm with our makeup primer while I talk to y'all. Um, that's called a first base priming makeup spray. Um, I've been playing makeup all day, so it's everywhere. But I'm going to give that a few minutes to dry. Before you put makeup on, you want to use a primer. And that's for, uh, it has a couple reasons. One is it's going to give your makeup fuller pigment. It's going to make it pop. Um, it also creates a barrier between your face and the product. So it's like a smooth canvas for the makeup to go on. And then it also lets the product last longer. It's kind of like, um, you know, when you use a primer in a setting spray, it's kind of like hairspray and hair gel. It gives your makeup something to hold on to. And then the setting spray is like the hairspray where it keeps it set all day. So if you've never used these, I'm going to show you um, what you get out of them, like why you should use them. So remember, my left hand has the first base setting spray. And then I'm going to take a little bit of shadow. I'm going to turn it towards me. So there's some eyeshadow and then I'm gonna do the same thing this arm has no setting spray so we're gonna I mean no primer so we're gonna put the shadow over here so this arm has primer this arm doesn't and then we're gonna take our finishing spray and I use the one that gives us a dewy finish we have two setting sprays um, one is called oil strike and it is for people with oily skin it gives you a matte finish and it kind of stops that oil from coming through. So if you have oily skin or if you like that matte finish, then oil, sprite, oil Strike is the setting spray for you. For me, I prefer more of a dewy finish and I'm not oily at all. So I use, it used to be called 10 Years Younger, but now it's called Time Setter Setting Spray. And that's the spray you use when you want a dewy finish or a glowy finish um, when you don't don't want that matte finish. It's totally up to you. If you like the matte finish or if you like um, a little bit of a glow. And I've noticed it's kind of different with age. Like as I age, I have less oil production. So I want more of a glowy finish because I feel like it's more youthful. Um, but then there's some younger people who really like the matte finish on their face. Hey, Cindy, who really like that matte finish or they, they're really oily. They have a lot of oil production. So they want the um, oil strike to control, control, the, control the oil um, so their makeup just doesn't come off. So it's really about your skin type and then it's about your personal preference because I could use the um, oil strike setting spray even though I'm not oily and have a matte finish but I just don't prefer it. What you doing today Cindy? How are you? I'm going to let it dry. Now normally when I'm doing my makeup I'll spray my primer, um, wait a minute or two and then start on my face makeup and then after I put my setting spray on I just go on about my business while it dries and sets. Um, I love a matte finish. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Did you like, well, no, that, because um, you bought the setting spray, but you got the one that was not a matte finish. But so far, Diana, nothing's worked for you, right? We're going to find your, your right thing to keep your makeup on all day. Okay. I it's still drying. You can see it. this one has the primer and the setting spray and this one is just the shadow. I should have done like two or three swatches but that's okay. That's okay. I didn't know I was going to have such an audience. I thought I was just going to do this short and quick. Um, yeah, it's hot here today too, Cindy, but it's like thundering and dark and just gloomy. Hey, Crystal. Yeah, Crystal, um, has been in Hawaii. Her husband's in, in the army, right? And she came to Texas for a visit and the heat is just different. Okay, so I think it's dry. So remember, this is um, primer and setting spray. This is not. So I'm just gonna take my regular old hand that has makeup all over it because I've been working all day. 
So, and this is the one that has no sprays on it at all. And I'm just gonna wipe it. And you can see it, it comes off pretty easily. It has nothing holding it. It's just, you know, I just basically put um, eyeshadow on my arm. And so it comes right off. And normally, even if I don't use a primer or a setting spray on my eyeshadow, I'll put a, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send you a sample of that, Diana. Okay, so that's right. It's just your nose. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, okay. But yeah, even when I put shadow on without using the primer in the setting spray, I'll put concealer or Sotox or something on my eye to give it something to grab onto. Okay, so this is the shadow without the, I mean, with the setting spray and the primer. So see that? See the difference? I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable, the difference. So when you put something on and you don't, you don't prime it or set it, there it goes, it's gone. And now this one, exact same, but it has the primer and the setting spray. So you could wear this and it's gonna last. I mean, it, and you're not gonna be rubbing your eyeshadow anyway. So this is like a really dramatic demonstra demonstration. But when you use these sprays to set your makeup, they really do last all day. Um, and when you use, like Diana, what I think we need to do for you is give you some concealer because the concealer is waterproof too. So when you use a waterproof concealer with these sprays, it's not going anywhere. People could swim in it and it's not going to come off. Okay, then I wanted to make this short and sweet and just show y'all why I swear by these. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye y'all.